A former electrician who was paralysed in a motorcycle accident at the age of 21 has begun a new career as a fitness instructor. Daniel Edwards from Dartford teaches at gyms across Kent and he's inspired other disabled people to follow his example. He's been speaking to Andrea Thomas. I was involved in a motorcycle accident in 2009. Uh, a car pulled out on me um, and didn't see me and I, it, I hit it broke me back, um, various other injuries, quite serious, which put me in a coma for a little while. Um, so I waking up a month afterwards, eventually turning up in Stoke Mandeville, um, where I did my rehabilitation. Finally got out in 2010 in February. And few would have believed that three years later, Dan Edwards would be doing this, working from his wheelchair as a professional fitness instructor. He trains both disabled and able-bodied people to get fit. And now his career has taken a new turn, training disabled people to follow his lead and become instructors. His inspiration came from the spinal injuries charity Aspire, but it nearly didn't happen. We knew that he would have had all the potential to make a great fitness instructor, um, signed him up to the course, confirmed his place. Um, day one, he didn't turn up. I felt overwhelmed with um, fear, if you like. I just felt like I wouldn't feel comfortable giving someone, an able-bodied person, instruction. Lesson one on this course is to deal with the issue that so nearly derailed Dan, self-confidence. Dan's students include a former school teacher with a rare joint disorder. Called Ellis Danlos, it's a form of hypermobility, um, which means there's global dislocation of the joints, so all my joints dislocate. I'd started uh, going to the gym when I was in my 40s, when I was extremely poorly. I came out and decided that I'd like to use my teaching skills, my background's lecturing in art, um, to teach others that you can have a much better standard of life. You can improve pain, you can improve your fitness. I came out of the gym one day feeling quite low and I looked on the wall and there was a poster for this course and I thought, this could change my life really and the interview was on my birthday so I thought I'd go for it. <laughs> Simon O'Connor, who's blind, is training to assist in the instruction of other visually impaired people. I'm hoping to get a job out of it and to encourage more people with disabilities into gyms. Um, obviously we had a good start last year with the Olympics and the Paralympics so it's really trying to keep that momentum going. The course backed jointly by Aspire and the YMCA has given John Smith two ambitions to train others and to compete in the next Paralympics. When I was first injured it was always able-bodied people coming to me and saying oh yeah you'll be all right I know what you're going through etc etc but I couldn't relate to that person because they're able-bodied they weren't in my position. So I would like to be the person in their position to come to you and say, right, I know exactly what you're going through, I know, I know what you've been through, I know what you're going through right now. It's not the end of the world, you know, if, if I can become a, hopefully, if I become a gym instructor, so can you. I'm actually being trained for um, shot put, javelin and discus. Hopefully I'll be at a competitive level very soon and I suppose the sky's the limit from there. We could be talking about the Kent Games or Rio in 2016, you never know. Uh, Andrea Thomas, ITV News, Maidstone. The sky is the limit, absolutely. absolutely yeah.